Hello and welcome to another episode of Driving with the Guru. This is your host, Ricky Cadden, Simeon Guru. And today's episode, unfortunately, I do not have anything new in my glove box for you. I've had to send it all back, but I'm going to have something really cool next week. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I want to cover a couple different things that are not actually related to a specific phone or a headset or anything like that. Um, and the first of those is Bluetooth. And um, Bluetooth in your computer specifically. Um, a lot of you probably synchronize your phone with your computer which makes it really easy to manage contacts, your calendar, um, photos, videos, all that kind of stuff without having to fumble around with cables and plug things in and all that kind of mess. Um, Bluetooth makes it really easy. This is actually the Bluetooth adapter that I use on my computer. It just plugs into a regular USB port. Costs you maybe 20 bucks at Radio Shack or Best Buy or something. Um, if you do go shopping for one, you want to make sure that it's Bluetooth 2.0. Um, that's going to give you a little bit faster speeds. It's also going to make it a little bit more secure and more stable. So um, once you've got that, you can plug it in, set up PC Suite on your Windows machine, and you can set it so that it will automatically synchronize all of the new stuff on your phone with the stuff on your computer, which is really, really cool, super handy. Um, for instance, when I walk into my apartment, my Nokia N95 automatically sees my computer they start talking and any contacts that I've added throughout the day, any calendar um, events, notifications, to-do list, but more importantly, all of my pictures and all of my videos are automatically stored on my computer, which is super handy for being able to manipulate those photos or do whatever I want with them. Um, so it's really, really cool. And the best part is I don't have to do anything. All I do is I walk in um, and most of the time I'm gonna go to my computer anyways, and I can just set my phone down right next to it and it does it automatically. No mess for me, very, very nice. Um, check it out if you're wanting to have the easiest way to synchronize your information between your phone and your computer. Um, so, and again, this is just a little bit of USB thing. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about and something I've been doing a lot more of lately is reviewing Bluetooth headsets. Um, this one here is the Nokia BH701 and Despite the terrible product design, um, the sound quality is actually pretty good. There will be a full review on that shortly. Um, and then this one is the Jabra BT8040, the 8040. And what's interesting about these two is the 701 obviously uses this big hoop as kind of an over-ear um, thing. This part doesn't actually fit in your ear so much as just kind of resting up against it. So this is definitely kind of what's conferred as a... Um, over the ear loop, whereas the Jabra, it uses this squishy little uh, rubber part, and that actually fits inside of your ear to provide a more secure fit. Um, and it's really interesting to test different headsets and see which is more comfortable and which one doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So um, I know personally, I prefer the in-ear kind because it's gonna give me a more secure fit there's nothing, you know, messing with my ear above it or anything like that. I can wear sunglasses without having to mess with anything. It's great. However, some people find this a little bit too invasive. Um, in which case, obviously the over the ear or around the ear um, style is kind of preferred. So it's interesting to me what people prefer. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick survey of uh, readers. You know, on your Bluetooth headset, would you rather have it in your ear um, and obviously this isn't sticking directly in your ear, but it's fitting in this part of your ear right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, or do you like the over the ear that's not quite so invasive into your face um, type of headset? So, um, and actually I may be able to do something more with headsets in the future, but in any case, let me know what you think in the comments. The other thing that I wanted to show you is um, lately, since I've gotten my uh, N810 internet tablet mounted in my truck, I've been trying out different ways of using it in the car. Um, so I want to do a quick little bit on that and I'm going to pick up the camera and show you and um, see if we can get rid of that glare a little bit. We're not going to be able to because the sun's out. But in any case, this is Canola and um, this is an application for um, OS 2008 that allows you to beautifully um, surf through your media collection. So we're gonna go to music and what's neat is I've got all kinds of different options here I've got all songs. I can just play random or I can do artists album covers. Let's do the cover view and um, 
Actually, I haven't downloaded the album art for all my stuff yet. It'll automatically download album art if you let it. Um, so we'll go back away from there. We'll just do all songs. Present it with a list of all your songs in alphabetical order, obviously. And you can just play with it. The kinetic scrolling, a la iPod Touch, iPhone. And once you click on it, you get this nice screen. Buttons are over here for skip, rewind, play, pause, and all that kind of stuff. And here's the volume rocker over here. So you can really easily turn it down. Album art will show there. Um, and it's really easy. The other cool thing about Canola is um, photos. When you look at photos, and unfortunately this will not look at the photos that are on your mobile phone uh, via Bluetooth, which would be really cool. But we can just look at all photos, and it gives them to you in this big stream. And you can see my backgrounds that I have up here, and you can, whoops, you can f slide this through, and say I wanted to look at this one pulls it in and there it is and I can still I can zoom in I can do whatever I want I can also just do kind of like a slideshow which is pretty neat um, and so this is something that I've been playing with in my car um, much to Christina's unhappiness she doesn't like it when I'm fiddling with the touch screen while driving but I think it works pretty well um, they've also got videos in here and I don't know that I've told it where my videos are I haven't it allows you in the settings, I'll show you this, your media library, you can tell it which folders contain which content, which is really, really convenient if you want to put all your video clips in a certain, um, in a certain folder, so, and you can click on these little eyeballs over here to tell it where to look, and it's going to refresh its media library to find out where all your video files are. Um, and the reason I wanted to show Canola today is because, um, since the N810 isn't in series after all, it's very, um, the marketing gives it a, a multimedia feel. And I really think that Canola gives a good opportunity of how this could look. So as you can see, I've got the assassination of Jesse James here um, that I've downloaded and it'll start playing. I've got a little scroll wheel down here, a scroll bar that I can skip around in. And I can also just touch the screen to go back and forth from full screen or not. Um, which is obviously pretty handy. So that's a quick walkthrough of Canola on the um, Nokia N810 internet tablet. And over here you can see that I've got a three and a half millimeter cord that I can plug in right here and get that sound through my car stereo, which is definitely extremely convenient. So um, that's it. That's the show. Uh, like I said, next week we will have something cool in my glove box. Um, I'm real excited. I've been expecting it for a while and I should be getting it anytime now. So I'm really pumped about that. And there's also a lot of stuff going to happen uh, with Symbian Guru next week. So you definitely don't want to miss anything at all. And just another quick reminder for um, you versus Guru. Make sure you're running. We've got several participants already and adding more all the time. So look forward to seeing you there. And thanks again for watching.